Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. As you know, of course, last week there was a massive earthquake in Haiti and since then countries and organizations and people have been doing what they can to help. So I thought today we'd study a video from one of those organizations, the Red Cross. This video was made five hours after the earthquake and it's an update about what they know and the steps that they've already taken and the steps that they're likely to take. What we've heard so far is damage to major infrastructure. Infrastructure is the basic physical and organizational structures, e.g. buildings, roads, power supplies, needed for the operation of a society or enterprise. And as she goes on to say, that's an important point because the more damage there is to roads and airports, the more difficult it is to get people and supplies in there to help those affected. The language and presentation style for this kind of video is interesting because she's talking about such a serious topic, a really tragic event. Her tone needs to reflect that and I think her delivery was really good. And the language is very plain, very serious. You won't find many of the things which make language more colourful or interesting like metaphors, idioms, phrasal verbs, slang. Right now we're getting conflicting reports on the use of the airport. It's very likely though, because of the location, that it has been damaged. And she uses the euphemism loss of life when talking about death. There's going to be a significant loss of life. That's a less direct way of saying a lot of people have probably already died and will die. Kia ora, in Stick News today, a man who was trapped in the wreckage of his hotel after the Haiti earthquake survived thanks to his iPhone. Dan Woolley is from Colorado in the United States. He was making a movie about the impact of poverty on the people of Haiti and had just returned to his hotel from a day of filming when the earthquake struck. According to news reports, thanks to the iPhone first aid app he'd downloaded, Dan knew how to treat his broken leg and head wound. The app also warned him not to fall asleep if he was going into shock, so he set his phone's alarm clock to go off every 20 minutes. Dan was rescued 65 hours after the earthquake. And that was Stick News for Thursday the 21st of January. Kia ora. Today's word is hinder. In today's video, the woman says that because the roads are damaged, it will hinder the movement of supplies. Hinder, verb, to make it difficult for somebody to do something or something to happen. And one of the examples here is, some teachers felt hindered by a lack of resources. <laughs>
to make it difficult for somebody to do something or something to happen. Hinder. And that was the Daily English Show. See you tomorrow. Bye.